hi guys welcome back to my channel once again and today i will be bringing you a brand new video and today's video i will be putting um some instagram hacks that i've seen on instagram and putting them to the test and see if they work all right so first hack is cleaning your beauty blender in the microwave i do have these two beauty blenders we're gonna go ahead and put them in the microwave and see if it actually works so i do have this mason jar where um i will be putting two beauty blenders and see the result we're gonna be putting four drops of dish soap and i do have like my big dish soap so i'm gonna put about four drops so i already went ahead and put um four drops of dish soap and it's already in there and i'm gonna go ahead and dip my beauty blenders inside scared guys hopefully I mess up but we'll see what the result is and i'm gonna take you guys to the microwave we're gonna go ahead and put it inside the microwave and we are gonna put it for one minute so we're gonna go ahead and take it out this is how it's looking see we actually like press it and all the filthiness comes out we're gonna go ahead and clean it out and see what happens so and then, oops oops we're gonna go ahead and just drop the water all right guys so we're back and um i'm done cleaning my beauty blenders and they're pretty clean they're not completely clean um you could still tell this thing i mean i would say it works doesn't completely work but it works you know it gets the job done for our second makeup hack um it is involving a fork and our eyebrows this is the edge of your nostrils Um, but it's right there and then the last one our tail we're gonna go ahead and basically connect the lines that we already did this is how the eyebrow turned out to be like i hate it hate hate it so i believe this is a fail it's really boxy and ugly and just not right All right, so third hack is using a spoon to cut the crease. So I am dipping to some shadow. So this is how it looks like, guys. This one, I feel like, I think it works. I mean, you just really gotta blend everything out, but it works. I mean, I wouldn't do it like every time I want to cut my crease because it does seem kind of messy. Next trick is a foundation trick and this is actually not a trick. I actually learned this in order to get like the most full coverage. In order to get a full coverage face, we do have to apply a, in a flat brush all over the face. And I'm gonna do um just a half the brush and the beauty sponge all right guys so this is the finished look well not the finished look but this is the foundation how the foundation looks and i don't know if you guys are able to tell on camera but um i could tell that this side it has a little bit more coverage than this side this side looks a little bit more sheer more natural and this one's like bam bitch you have makeup <laughs> so this side works um just as fine as this side but this side i would use it if like you're gonna go out take pictures i don't know but yeah all right guys so for our next step we are going to be needing a fork um your whatever you contour with and like a small brush that is able to go in like between the fork we are going to be um contouring our nose Okay. It's a hot mess, guys. <laughs> Why there's two lines? It was supposed to be one, but 
Well, we're gonna go ahead and smudge it. This is how it looks. I'm looking like a fucking hot mess, so excuse that. Honestly, I don't think this works at all. It looks bad. I hate it. I hate it. I just hate it. I feel like this is a fail. I don't like it. So we're gonna go ahead and use a Saint one of a fork, whatever. And we're gonna go ahead and bronze contour our cheekbones. See where our bone structure is, and we're gonna just basically do a line. And we're gonna contour. Oops. We're gonna contour. Basically, the line is gonna be our stencil. So this is how it looks like. You could see the line. We're gonna go ahead and try to buff it up as much as we can. You're not really able to see, but I went ahead and blend it out. But it's like whatever, so this hack is like eh. Okay, I'm gonna be using two different things and see which one works the best. The first one is a tooth, a tooth floss. <laughs> And the second one is gonna be a bobby pin. We're gonna go ahead and apply the eyeliner on the actual floss. Oops. Whoa, it's a long ass wing. We're gonna go ahead and fill in the, um, what we did. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the bobby pin side and flaws didn't come out that bad except like right here that um it didn't really mark it good so but it's all right. Whoa, that's bad. <laughs> this is messy guys. Don't try this at home. <laughs> all right guys, so as you can tell which side worked Best. This was an epic fail and this was an alright job. So, yes, I look like a hot mess. Alright, guys, so this is the end of the video. And if I could choose one favorite hack, I feel like I would say it would be the spoon with how we cut the crease. Um, yeah, it really cut the crease pretty well. The others didn't really work out very well, at least for me. Definitely the body pin has to be the worst. And look at my nose too, it looks hideous. I feel like I have a chicha like across my my freaking face. But other than that, it's alright. Make sure to go ahead and like this video for doing this freaking eyeliner. And I am gonna be going out like this, so let's see if people look at me weird or anything like that. And I will be hosting a giveaway, guys. So I will be posting giveaway details pretty, pretty, pretty soon. So make sure to turn that bell notification on and make sure to follow me on Instagram. If you're not following me there yet, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.